Hi guys, hello Mary me, everybody's Michelle would say. Of course today is the twenty the twenty eighth of two thousand nineteen of January and of course I haven't done a video recently and I thought I would touch base. I don't know why I suggested that maybe we should interview homeless Mike. Unfortunately homeless Mike right now is going to return some bottles and cans to uh stop and shop, so he's not gonna be here for a bit. So I figure we take some time um, to just let you know how things are going on my channel. As you all know, I usually work with Michelle and hers. And because of that reason, you have no idea what I'm thinking. Well, honestly, I really don't know what you want to know any more than Michelle does. Because unlike Michelle, I haven't really been plugging my channel as much. Um... Everybody knows that I work with Michelle, and and some of you, of course, know where my channel is. But I don't think everybody actually knows my channel. So, um, we were going to do a video earlier with Homeless Mike, but the problem was is that the camera had a problem. A more like a very simple problem had nothing to do with the camera. The table or the the desk leg, which was missing one of those plastic protector feet, had run over the, the coaxial cable and cut it in twain. Thus, there was no video signal to be able to get through because the cable was broken. Um, completely sheared apart. Um... Michelle has a couple of diagnostic tools, and so she took one of the diagnostic tools, which has BNC support as well as RG45s, and she connected it up, and of course, it showed no signal at all getting through to the cable. After Michelle put new cable plugs on it and everything. So she went ahead and started looking at everything that was going on, and it was discovered that the situation, very simply enough, was that the cable was cut in half. So she replaced the broken section with, um, and it's working. So, and I think it might be working a little bit better than it was before. Um, that may also be why the other video from the other computer looked it is terrible as it was as far as the quality. But it's the same identical problem. That is, is the cable that was cut in half had resulted in a um, some bad video. So that's fixed now. Uh, I'm not quite as technically savvy as Michelle. I can. She explained it to me. She showed it to me, and I said, "Okay." So she fixed it, and we're all set. So, people wanted to know about why Michelle's show has the kind of content it does. Why, what is Michelle aiming for her show? Well, I can't speak for Michelle because that wouldn't be fair. But I can tell you about my show, and that's what I'm going to do. Because Michelle's show is not the only one that's trying to re-explore the future. My show started out as a a show with the goal of covering spirituality and spiritual topics. And I still want to do that, because uh, I know there is some interest in this field. Okay. And uh, so there's a lot of reasons why people are asking questions about what is the future of our channels. On my channel, I still want to focus on spirituality. Uh, I also hope to very soon, someday, to start streaming live streams on my own. But I don't know how well... I would go because I tried it once before with lackluster results. And so I don't know if there'll ever be any real reason to stream live content because I just don't think that there's going to be 
enough interest in it to justify the additional scheduling times and things like that. But I can see that where how Michelle's channel certainly has grown thanks to live streaming. Um, Michelle started live streaming originally because she knew that some people may actually have many burning questions about life. And so she said, well, I'd like to cover some of the answers that people have about my channel. And she says the comments were far and far between and it wasn't enough comment content to create a whole new, um, you know, there just wasn't the kind of comments coming in. And obviously people probably were dynamically wanting to see different content. So plus live streaming, she realized was a pretty good close way to meet up to the, the, the newer YouTube partner program requirements that were set down in February of 2017. And so she, now she's got the hours. She's got the airtime. Um, she's got the viewership. However, it's a little bit short, but she's got a good portion of what it's going to take to get her back onto the YouTube Partner Program. Uh, my channel, I never actually bothered to go for the YouTube Partner Program or monetization or ad revenue. Right now, Michelle takes care of all the books. I don't um, take care of any of the books. And so that's the reason why I have not been uh, focusing on trying to make money on this channel. Because, number one, I spend more time on Michelle's channel than I spend on my own channel. And because of that reason, it's just easier to run the one channel. But I do have this channel where I do produce content on occasion and I put this on up here. Which is a pretty big deal, actually. But, you know, the, the biggest problem is, is that YouTube is a large place. Lots and lots and lots and lots of content. So, little channels like mine kind of get lost in all the noise of all the big channels. Um, I mean, there's so many examples that it's, it's incredible. But there's also a lot of little channels too that could use your support. Granted, some of the channels may be on the fringe because there are ones that cover very fringe material. Okay, like Parrot 175, he covers light bulbs. Now, you and I may not find light bulbs to be exciting or amazing, but he seems to like light bulbs, and so he focuses on them. And he can tell you everything about a light bulb, like who made it, when it was made, the year, the packaging type, the... But that's not what I'm interested in, and neither is Michelle. I'm interested, of course, mainly in seeing Michelle do well, but I'm also interested in trying to answer your questions that you have about spirituality and concerns that maybe Michelle can't answer, or maybe Michelle might be able to answer one answer, but maybe you only hear the other, another opinion on that answer, which makes sense. After all, I live with Michelle 24-7, 365 days a year. I certainly know what Michelle has said to people in comments. And people, of course, love Michelle very much. So, yes, I can tell you right now that Michelle is very much loved by everybody and um and that's a fact that michelle you know has has done many great things in the last few years and i think michelle will go further still i see michelle in the future um one day um will be a bigger channel but she's still deep down her heart still is concerned about the little you know, being kind of a small channel feel, but even if she had thousands of subscribers, uh, if that day ever comes, 
Michelle said that she would do her best to try to maintain the same small channel feel. Instead of turning into a big giant um, production. Despite what Michelle might say that she would love to have a crew, she knows that the appeal of Michelle is the way that she runs the channel with all analog equipment, um, you know, not digital anything. This camera here, the only thing digital about this camera is it has a CMOS sensor in it. Um, it still outputs standard PAL, European PAL standard of uh, 720 by 576 by 60, um, or, or sorry, 20, yeah, 25 frames per second. Whereas um, the camera, the CP234, is an NTSC camera that outputs a video of uh, close to 720 by 640 at 30 frames per second. Okay. Um, you know, you have to do what you got. So if one camera's in one format, one camera's in another format, you know, not much you can say about it. So, um, my, so my channel, I'm going to be open for more ideas for you, from you. So if you have ideas of what you'd like to see my channel cover, uh, I am willing to read your suggestions and pursue them. So you just have to go ahead and just tell me it, what you would like to see and things like that. And we'll see what we can do to make it happen. Um, but for right now, um, I want to thank you for watching this video. I know it wasn't very formal. We didn't have a lot of formal topic. Um, like Michelle, my channel is kind of going through uh, kind of a... Um, a questioning phase of finding out what kind of content is going to be the kind of content that the people of the future are going to want to see. But that's where you come in. I need your comments. That's so easy to do. Just click on the comment section below and read in response to the comments. If you have never subscribed to my channel and you want to subscribe, it's so easy. You see where it says subscribe? Let me finish draw on the bottom of the lower right hand corner. Click on that and then you can subscribe to your channel. Another way to subscribe, very quick and simple, is to just go to my channel directly. If you can't use the other system because it doesn't show up on your phone or whatever, just go to www y o u t u b e dot com forward slash u s c r forward slash l u m i f i n i s t r a and hit answer and then just go ahead and click on the subscribe and click the little bell ding 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 ding, ding to receive notifications and now and ever I do a live show or stream or whatever uh, that we don't miss out and. And of course, I'm welcoming your comments as well. I know this isn't really a big video, but it doesn't have to be. It's it's the one that's the first one that's been since, since done since September of 2018. So, um, you know, it's it's a start. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to try to put new content up every day, but I don't want to sit there and focus too much heavily onto the. Same topics so of homelessness and politics and show this because I, I really are focused on other content. So for the timing, guys, thanks for watching this. See you soon. Bye-bye.